Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on LCM worksheets. Now I've prepared some worksheets here to give students some practice on the topic of the lowest common multiple. So for question one we have eight parts here and we have to find the lowest common multiple for example in number A the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3 number B the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4 and so on all the way down so here we only have in each case we only have two numbers and we have to find the lowest common multiple for each of the two numbers that is for both of the numbers in each question and we did a lesson on this previously so you can check the lesson out if you have any difficulties or you forgot what to do question 2 find the lowest common multiple of 2 3 and 4 so we can also find the lowest common multiple of any three numbers so here we have eight examples where we're asked to find the lowest common multiple and each of the questions has three numbers so if you remember what the lowest common multiple is it's the lowest number for example for the first question here the lowest number that 2 3 and 4 will divide into evenly if we take this one here number G the lowest common multiple of 8 10 and 20 is the lowest number that 8 10 and 20 will divide into evenly so we'll go on to the next worksheet question 3 here we have four numbers in each question so just for the first one only find the lowest common multiple of 2 3 4 and 6 and we have to do the same procedure for every single question now as we saw in the lessons the lowest common multiple can be used to solve some interesting problems in real life let's quickly look at question four three friends play snooker at regular intervals at the same club Harry plays every fourth day Tom plays every fifth day and Peter plays every tenth day if they all play snooker on the sixth day of May when is the next day that they will all play together so this is an interesting question and it's a perfect candidate for arriving at a solution if you know how to work out the lowest common multiple so that's the only hint I'll give you question five three friends play golf at regular intervals at the same club Sid plays every sixth day, Tom plays every eighth day, and Bill plays every twelfth day. If they all play golf on the eighth day of June, when is the next day that they will all play together? So there's a very, very interesting sum there. And I think you'll um, find that quite interesting again if you know how to work out the lowest common multiple that'll give you a clue how to do this problem so this video has presented some interesting questions just to give you practice on the topic of the lowest common multiple and we've seen a few examples where this can be applied to everyday life